Right, welcome to uh, Cart Rigs Made Simple. Um, this is the uh, channel where we take you through step by step how to tie many of the uh, most common cart rigs of today. Uh, those rigs that you thought were probably too complex to uh, to tackle, we'll take you through step by step, and you'll you'll soon be proficient at tying them. Um, what we're going to tie today, guys, is the uh, multi rig, very popular rig at the moment. Uh, we're going to do something a bit special. I'm going to use this material from Rigmarole called Hydrolink. Um, what's uh, special about this is that um, inside this outer coated braid, um, if I just sort of push that out, if you can see that inside there is a um, is a fluorocarbon inner, a 10 pound fluorocarbon inner. So in this 25 pound Hydrolink. I've got a 10 pound fluorocarbon inner, and what that allows us to do is to um, to make incredible hinges, breaks in the material. But we'll um, we'll show you a bit later. But uh, let's uh, let's get on to step one. Okay, so what we want to do here is uh, is create a loop on the on the back of this hook. Um, in this uh, example, I'm using an outturned eye hook. Um, I normally use that for all my pop-ups, a so chod type hook. Um, I find it gives it a much better, much better angle. Um, and what I'm going to do is um, different to how you'd normally tie the knot, this knot, and most uh, most rigs is I'm going to come through the face of the eye, so from the point side and through front to back, and I'm going to slide two or three inches of material out. What I'm then gonna do is sort of holding the material to one side and, and creating a bit of space in this eye as I'm gonna bring the material back through again, like so. So all I've done is, for all intents and purposes, just created a, a loop on the back of that hook. And what I want to do is get this loop and I want to basically measure it because it's going to come over this hook here. So I basically want to just slide this loop down so that it only just fits over the top of that hook. And it's at that point there that I will tie a knot. Okay, so now I've got the the point, the rough point at which I want the knot to be formed. I'm just going to sort of slide this loop down, not pull it out, but slide it down to give myself some space. And I'm just going to create a very simple overhand knot. So I'll pull the main hook loop section through, get the tag end through. And what I'm going to do is sort of tighten it down but not fully at this point. So I'm gonna bring the loop down, but just sort of leave the loop open. And what I'm gonna do then is check again that this just slides over because the closer you get this is the lower the pop-up. And that's the whole point of this rig. So yeah, it goes over quite comfortably. So I can be quite brave with that. Slide that loop up slightly, just tighten it down. And what you'll see is that when I bring the, the knot tied up to the to the eye, I can just slide that over. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is just tighten that down using a, a puller tool. Just tighten that knot down. And then just snip off the tag end. Okay, now before we slide this loop over the hook, what I'm going to do is I prefer these little um, bait screws. You may prefer the uh, floss and rig ring, it's up to you, but I prefer the bait screws. Um, never ever had an issue with one, never had a bait come off, and I'm just going to slide it onto the loop so that it as you see there, it just slides up and down the loop out of the both parts. And then I'm just going to bring that loop over the hook. As you see, between the 
slide the hook into the loop basically and bring it over the hook so that now once I pull it down slightly I have for all intents and purposes formed a, a D on the on the back of the hook and sliding around on that is my is my little uh, bait screw or rig ring whichever is the case and that's step one okay for step two what I'm now going to do is create the hinge now if you was using a normal coated braid you would just from this from almost from the knot with your fingers to drag a bit of the coating back to create this sort of hinge but this material is quite special and it's uh, it'll show you now the reason I'm using it so what I'm going to do just below the knot is is basically fold this material over and create like a V and I'm just going to pinch that V quite tight so all I'm doing is basically pinching the material and the fluorocarbon inside and then what I'm going to do is basically, I haven't got nails, but I'm just going to push the material and tease out the uh, the fluorocarbon inside. Because I keep just uh, just tease it down, and what you will do is just tease out a little loop of the fluorocarbon. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is just snip the top end of that loop off like so and then I'm going to tease that outer material back over and what I've done as you see there is created a fantastic hinge yeah just a small break brilliant and at the point of that break just behind it is where I'll introduce a little bit of putty. Okay, so just after the break, I'm going to fold over a little bit of putty, make that nice and neat, barrel it up. You know, even with this, you want to be a bit meticulous, nice and neat, barrel it over, and there we have a perfect hinge. So that our rig sits up beautifully. Yeah, like so. So if I quickly screw a little pop up. You can see what the rig looks like. And have an effect like so. Beautiful rig. Fantastic, very, very versatile. And that's step two. Okay, as always, we're just gonna finish this rig off with a little rig roll, rig sleeve there. Gonna place it through. Like so, and I always slide it down to the hook end, as you know. And I'm going to introduce my rig safe here, as always, accuracy, very, very important. And I'm going to place um, the hinge part of the rig on the zero, and I'm going to slide my rig sleeve along until the point hits the seven, because that's how I like to fish this rig around about seven inches there. And then, as always, I grab the back of the material, pull the rig sleeve out the way and tie a quick overhand loop. Nothing complicated, just a very quick overhand loop. Tighten it up, we'll snip off the excess. And then I bring the rig sleeve all the way down and just 
put it over the material, leave myself a tiny little loop. And then because that has the uh, fluorocarbon inside, it's pretty straight, but it will steam straight. But um, as you can see, we have a beautiful multi-rig there. And an incredibly flexible hinge. Give it a go.